My name is Alex Purdy, and I am so excited to have all you little light yogis with me today. Today's theme is all about dinosaurs. Oh my goodness. We're going to become T-Rexes, Pterodactyls, Bronchiosauruses, all of our favorite dinosaurs. So I am so excited to play some games, sing a couple songs, and meditate it out with all of you. So with that being said, let's get ourselves set up. So make sure that you have a yoga mat, and if you don't have a yoga mat, that's totally fine. You can always use the carpet or the floor or a chair if you don't have access to any of those, but just make sure that you are not slipping around or hurting yourself. If you are mobilized by a wheelchair and you need to use a wheelchair, that is totally fine. Just do all of our activities with your arms, okay? And just make sure that you're getting big and breathing because breathing is the most important thing that you can ever do in yoga. So let's make sure that we have that. I also wanna make sure that you have some parental vision, that you have parents or a guardian or someone around you that is making sure that you are safe. So make sure you have one of those and let's get started with today's class. Okay, for our first activity, we are gonna do a dinosaur hunt. An archeologist, whoo, that's a big word. An archeologist is someone that searches for dinosaurs. So we are gonna be an archeologist. So ready, go ahead and get on your archeologist clothes, put on those pants. Put on your big archaeologist hat and bring some goggles because whew, it gets dusty out where those dinosaurs are. We're gonna have to dig through the ground to find them. Are you ready? Let's go ahead and reach up to the sky really high because we gotta go down into the ground. Let's reach on down and dig our way through the ground and let's try to dig out those dinosaurs. Good, keep on digging and then reach on up, reach up to the sky, stretch it out, cause ooh, this digging takes some effort. Are you ready? Let's go back down and dig through the ground. Dig, 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 dig. Oh, good, let's go ahead and stretch big, stretch in, oh. And let's dig again, keep on digging for those dinosaurs. Oh, look, we found one. Let's go ahead and take it out. Ooh, look at this. It's an egg. Can you show me the egg that you found in the ground? Ooh, let's dust it off. Oh my goodness, this is a beautiful egg and I bet it's going to hatch into a dinosaur. So let's become that egg. Are you ready? Get into egg pose. Get really tiny. Oh my goodness. And let's go ahead and start to hatch. Start to wiggle around, wiggle around, wiggle around. Good. And let's crack open that egg and come on out. Oh my goodness. We have just become a dinosaur. So let's come down into hero's pose and sit up like a dinosaur. You ready? Show me those dino arms. Right now we're a baby dinosaur, but I bet if we work really hard, we can start to grow and grow bigger and everybody start to stand on up. But let's come into a chair pose and look like a medium sized dinosaur. Show me those dino arms. Good, and finally let's stand all the way up. Reach up to the sky because we are a big, huge dinosaur. Oh my gosh! <laughs> nice job, everyone! So our first activity is going to be a song, and this song is called the Dino Ditty. So for each of the times that we go through this song, we're gonna act like different dinosaurs, okay? And the song goes something like this. I'm gonna show you all the poses first, okay? It's gonna start with, there he goes, just a walking down the street singing. Dino diddy diddy dum diddy dee. Dino diddy diddy dum diddy dee. So for that chorus part, you're gonna take your arms up and you're gonna lean to the side, going off like this. There he goes, just a looking for some food. So for that one, we're gonna take our legs out wide and we're gonna take our head, hand to our forehead as we look from one direction to the other. 
And then we go back to the chorus and we sing, Dino diddy diddy dum diddy dee, Dino diddy diddy dum diddy dee. And then it goes, he's big, so get really big, show me those big arms, big legs. He's strong, show me those strong biceps. Good. He won't be hungry very long. So we're gonna take our hands to our belly and he won't be hungry very long. Good, are you ready to get some dinosaurs in here? Okay, so our first dinosaur is gonna be a velociraptor. So we're gonna sit in a chair and we're gonna take our arms just like velociraptors. Okay, here we go, show me those velociraptors. There he goes, just a walking down the street, street singing, Dino diddy diddy dum diddy dee, Dino diddy diddy dum diddy dee. There he goes, just a looking for some food, singing, Dino diddy diddy dum diddy dee, Dino diddy diddy dum diddy dee. He's big, he's strong, he's big, he's strong. He won't be hungry very long. Good, let's do that again. This time, we are gonna do the Triceratops. So Triceratops have three horns at the top of their head. And we're gonna lean over like this and take our three horns. Are you ready? There he goes, just a walking down the street, singing Dino Diddy Diddy Dum Diddy Dee. Dino Diddy Diddy Dum Diddy Dee. There he goes, just a looking for some food, singing Dino Diddy Diddy Dum Diddy Dee. He's big, he's strong, he's big, he's strong, he won't be hungry very long. Good, nice job. Let's do it one more time. This time we are going to do a Stegosaurus. Are you ready? So we're gonna get on down. We're gonna put our hands down the ground. We're gonna come into downward facing dog for this one. Are you ready? Let's walk it out. There he goes, just a walking down the street, singing, Dino diddy diddy dum diddy dee. There he goes, just a looking for some food, singing Dino diddy diddy dum diddy dee. He's big. He's strong. He won't be hungry very long. Dino diddy diddy dum diddy dee. Dino diddy diddy dum diddy dee. Ha <laughs> ha! Nice job, everyone. Let's go on to our next activity. Okay, we are gonna do another game. This game is going to be a flow game and we're gonna move from pose to pose. I'm gonna give you three poses and you're gonna try to remember them throughout the game. Of course, we're gonna make some fun dinosaur sounds with this one. So our first dinosaur is everybody's favorite. It's the T-Rex. So let's come ahead and make our legs really big. Take your arms overhead and then lean forward because we're gonna go chomp, 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 just like a T-Rex because he eats everything. Okay. Our next one is we are going to take our legs wide again and we are going to do the long night, long neck bronchiosaurus. That's those ones with those really long necks. We're going to come back and we're going to pretend this is our hand. Our hand is the mouth and we're going to eat all those trees and we're going to go nom 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 just like that. Good. And our final animal, our final dinosaur is going to be a pterodactyl. And for this one, we're gonna try to balance on one leg. If you are in a chair, you don't have to balance on one leg. You can just lean your body forward and reach and fly. And for this one, we're gonna go squawk, 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 squawk. Just like a pterodactyl. Good. Are you ready? We're gonna go through all those poses several times. Let's try it. Are you ready? Big wide legs and let's go chomp. Chomp, chomp, chomp. Good. Let's go lean on back and show me that bronchiosaurus, that long neck. And let's go nom, 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 nom. Good. Let's do that pterodactyl and come off onto one leg and go squawk, 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 squawk. Good job. 
Okay, let's do it again. Hmm, this time I'm gonna let you do the poses first before me. Let's do the T-Rex. Can you show me that T-Rex? Good, let's lean our bodies off to the side and go chomp, 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 chomp. Good, can you show me the pterodactyl? How does a pterodactyl look? Ready, let's go. Squawk, 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 squawk. Good. This time, let's do the bronchiosaurus, that long neck, reach it up and back, and go nom, 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 it on all those trees. Good. This time, I'm not gonna say the sounds. I want you to remember the sounds. Let's go, let's do the T-Rex. What sound does the T-Rex make? That's right, chomp, 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 chomp. Let's do the bronchiosaurus, that long neck. What sound does the bronchiosaurus make? That's right, nom, 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 nom. Pterodactyl, ready, balance. Good. What sound does the pterodactyl make? Squawk, 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 squawk. Ooh, that one's hard to balance in. Okay. This time, I'm not gonna do any of the poses. I'm only going to say the sounds and you've gotta get into the correct pose. Are you ready? Let's do the chomp, 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 chomp. Oh, what pose are you gonna get into? Good, show me that T-Rex pose. Chomp, chomp, chomp. Okay, here's the next one. I want you to do the nom, 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 nom. Good, show me that bronchiosaurus. Nom, 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 nom. Good, how about this one? Chomp, 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 chomp. <gasps> yeah, we already did that one. That's the T-Rex. Chomp, chomp, chomp. Ooh, do you hear that? <gasps> do you hear that? It says squawk, 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 squawk. What pose are you gonna get into? That's right, our pterodactyl. Good. Ooh. Uh-oh. I hear a rumbling in the ground. I hear those chomp, 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 chomps coming. Good. Let's lean forward and chomp it up. Ooh, you know what my favorite is? It's the nom, 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 nom. Show me those noms. Reach up, nom, 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 nom. <laughs> I love it. Nice job, you all. I hope you had fun with our flow today. Okay, before we go into our challenge pose, I wanna make sure that you are fully stretched out. So we are gonna do T-Rex stretches. So that means you have to take your arms in really close to your sides because T-Rexes have little tiny arms. Oh my goodness, here we go. So for T-Rex stretches, we are gonna move our arms up, or our hands up and down and all over the place. So first, I want you to make fists and circle them up. Show me those circles with your hands. Good. Next, let's go the opposite direction with those circles. Make those circles the other direction. Good, nice job. Let's take stop side hands with those T-Rex arms and take them really high. Try to reach your fingers back towards your body without touching it. Oh, stretch it out. Good, let's take them down and go in the opposite direction. Try to touch your fingers to underneath your arm. Can you do it? Oh, I can't quite reach there. So close. Good. Let's take our hands out to the side and make stop sign hands with our fingers going out. Oh, stretch them out. Good. Let's take those stop sign hands and bring them this direction in towards our body so they're facing each other. Good. Nice job. Let's bring our hands back and we're going to make fists again. But this time, we're gonna pretend like we are T-Rexes throwing balls, and we're gonna throw the ball, and 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 throw it. There we go, keep it going. Let's see how fast we can go. Throw them fast. 
throw them really slow, slow T-Rex. And super fast. And slow it down. Good job. Okay, I think we are ready for our challenge pose. We're all stretched out. I am as warm as all get out right now. And I think we are so ready. So we're gonna come back into the Velociraptor pose. So if you remember that, that's where we're sitting in a chair and we take our Velociraptor arms. Good. Now for this one, if you are in a chair, I want you to practice just leaning forward, but with a really straight spine. Good. Just coming in with a really straight spine, kind of leaning yourself forward. If you're able to balance on your toes, I want you to try to balance on your toes as much as possible, lifting those heels off the ground. Keep those arms really tiny, and we're gonna try to sit down as low, as low, as low, as low as we can go. Good. Then we're gonna try to stand back up, but we can't step our feet on the ground. We have to stay on our toes. Are you ready? Come back up, try to do it slowly. Good. <laughs> and let's go back down. Elevator it down with those dinosaurs all the way down. And back up, all the way back up. Don't use your hands. Ah! <laughs> and if you fall, that's okay. Let's try it again. Here we go. Ready? Show me those velociraptors. And sit it on down. Now, if this is way too easy, Maybe you try to take one foot out in front of you whoa, and try to stand up. Oh, I don't even think I can do that. Are you ready? <laughs> so try to take one foot out and stand on up. Oh, I don't know if I can do it. Maybe you can do it. Send me a video over on Instagram with you taking these big dino steps taking those big legs out as you try to sit down and stand back up. But that's enough of our challenge pose. If you want to continue on, pause the video and continue on with us after. Okay, so let's come down from all that dinosaur activity and come on down to a seat. Or if you would like, you can grab a pillow and a blanket and get nice and comfy. I always suggest taking your arms out wide, your legs out wide and getting really, really still. And if you still have a lot of energy, that's okay. Just do slow fidgets. Try not to make any big movements. Let's go ahead and close your eyes. And let's take a deep inhale breath in and exhale out. Inhale in and exhale out. And I want you to imagine that you have this giant time machine in front of you. And let's go ahead and open up the door to your time machine and go on in. And let's set the time code way back to the time of dinosaurs. And I want you to imagine that time machine rumbling and roaring as it goes back in time and Suddenly, you are in the land of the dinosaurs. Open up the door and look out to see what you see. What does it look like? What dinosaurs do you see? What trees do you see? God. I want you to imagine that there is a giant lake in front of you and all the dinosaurs are coming together to drink from that big giant lake. And you can see all of them spread out in front of you. I want you to imagine what that sounds like. What do you hear from the dinosaurs? What does that smell like? Huh. I wonder what that the dinosaurs smell like. I want you to imagine what the lake tastes like. So go down and drink with those dinosaurs. Be right next to them. 
And I want you to choose one of those dinosaurs and I want you to reach out and pet it and feel what that dinosaur feels like. And over time, you're gonna become great friends with these dinosaurs. These dinosaurs are all extremely nice and they're so excited to be with you, to be with you inside the land of the dinosaurs. So let's go ahead and imagine that you are in that place. Go ahead and take the next couple minutes or so just to relax on down and imagine what happens in the land of the dinosaurs. getting back in that time machine and as it starts back up and it starts whizzing and whirring and roaring I want you to wiggle your fingers and wiggle your toes and then stretch like you're waking first thing up in the morning as you reach outside that time machine coming back into that present and when you're ready sit on up now, I had a fantastic time playing all these dinosaur games and dinosaur songs with you, and I'm so excited that we could practice together. If you would like to practice together more, I have tons of videos on my channel, and you can check out my Instagram down below for daily meditations and notifications about all the videos that I post. I am so excited to have all of you here, and I would just love to see all your happy faces sharing with me this practice, playing these dinosaur games. So please send me a photo of your favorite dinosaur pose. So with that being said, let's go ahead and close on down. Go ahead and take your hands to your forehead, because today I wish for you kind thoughts to yourself and others. And take your prayer hands to your mouth, because today I wish for you kind words to yourself and others. And then take your prayer hands to your heart, because today I wish for you kind actions to yourself and others. 
At the end of every class, all the little yogis, all the little lights say namaste. Because when we say namaste, we are saying that we want to spread light into the world and our light respects your light and everybody can be peaceful and happy. And I certainly wish that for every single one of you. With that, I will see you next time. Bye, y'all.